Hi, welcome to this video in which we will share details about a product that can potentially bring down the cost of air conditioning and heating substantially. So watch this video till the end to find out about this amazing appliance and how it works. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better more sustainable world. Subscribe today for updates. We all know about air conditioners. That's the standard way we cool our spaces. There's another device that does the same job but is relatively less known. It's a heat pump. The advantage of the heat pump is that it can provide both heating and cooling when needed. Many a times the name heat pump refers to an appliance that can heat only while reversible heat pump refers to a product that can both heat and cool. Nonetheless, the operating principle in both is the same, but in the latter, the coolant can be pumped in different ways to also get the reverse functionality. Before we look at how a heat pump can be cheaper to run than air conditioner, we need to explain how it works. Let's consider an air conditioner. We can see that it blows cool air into the room. However, looking at it from a thermodynamic point of view, an air conditioner is taking the heat from the room and is dumping it outside. The hotter the ambient, the more work it has to do to dump the heat to the outdoors. A heat pump does the same, that is, when cooling is required from it, it takes the heat from the room and dumps it outside. It can however also do the reverse, that is, it can take the heat from the ambient and dump it inside the room when heating is required. For a heat pump, we can also select the type of ambient. We can set it to be outside air or we can set it to be subsurface earth. The heat pump that uses air as the ambient is called air source heat pump while the latter one is called a ground source heat pump. There's no advantage of air source heat pump over a normal air conditioner when cooling is required. They are essentially the same thing. The only thing that separates the two is that heat pump has the added ability to heat when needed. Ground source heat pumps on the other hand have advantage over conventional air conditioners both when it comes to cooling and heating. For example, a well-installed ground source heat pump or GSHP in short can have a COP of 5 meaning that for every unit of electricity provided we can get 5 units worth of heating. Even for cooling the ground source heat pumps can be twice as more efficient than your normal air conditioners. How is it possible? Let's explore this further. The GSHP exchanges heat from shallow subsurface earth. The ground is dug to at least 3 meters below the surface to lay the pipes in which the refrigerant flows and exchanges heat. Interestingly, the ground temperature at that depth remains between 15 to 17 centigrade all year round. And this subsurface temperature is almost uniform across the globe. So now consider this. You are let's say in the Middle East and your air conditioner is trying to dump heat into the hot ambient air which is about 40 to 45 degrees centigrade. It would have a much harder time in doing that than compared to a relatively cooler surrounding that is 15 to 17 degrees centigrade. And that is where the benefit of ground source heat pump can be appreciated. Similarly, during winter times when it's close to freezing or we have sub-zero temperatures outside, the heat pump would have a much harder time extracting heat from the cold air compared to surroundings that are at 15 to 17 degrees centigrade that is in subsurface earth. So now we see why ground source heat pumps are beneficial compared to both normal air conditioners and air source heat pumps. Having established how beneficial they are, the question is why they are not as widely used? Well, heat pumps are used in many cold climate countries and are common in Europe and Canada. Although their advantage of cooling is also proven but they are not as widely used as air conditioners because of their higher upfront cost, which is in turn because of the required groundworks for laying pipes. The cost of digging up earth and laying down the pipework can be more expensive than the heat pump itself. But despite this higher initial cost, the heat pump does pay itself back in 5 to 10 years depending upon its usage and what system it is replacing. Ideally, if they are planned to be installed in a new build property of which foundations haven't been laid, then one can see significant drop in the installation price. Likewise, if the water table is shallow or there is a pond or seawater in close proximity to the property, then the cost can go down and the effectiveness or COP can even rise further, particularly for the use in cooling. 
No digging is required in the presence of a nearby water body. Pipes can be simply laid on the floor of the lake or the pond, etc. There have been numerous studies carried out around the world that prove the savings that can be made if we switch to heat pumps. And this is particularly true for Gulf countries where heat pumps are even more efficient than cooling tower systems. So when considering an air conditioner or a heating system next time, it's worth exploring heat pumps as an alternative. In the coming videos, we will also cover solar assisted heat pumps. And with this, the video is concluded. We hope you learned something from it. And if you did, please do hit the like button. This also helps our channel to grow. For any questions, do use the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for your attention.